This program has very numerous strengths. One being that we have four hospital systems that feed into our residency program. A children's hospital, our main hospital, a VA hospital, and a county hospital. And with all four of those hospitals, you really get a diverse patient population and learn about different diseases in these populations. So Brimley is the Rocky Mountain Lions Eye Institute in Aurora, Colorado. It's actually been newly renovated, just adding more clinical space as we continue to grow. We serve a large catchment area of patients. We have subspecialists in every subspecialty in ophthalmology, a low vision team, clinical research uh, team as well, all within this facility. So Children's is a really great place to train. We just have this amazing hospital filled with every specialist and subspecialist you can think of. We're the only pediatric hospital from Canada to Mexico and then from Salt Lake to Kansas City. So we have this 10 state area from which we're collecting patients, especially the ones with complex systemic disease. And many patients with complex systemic disease also have complex eye disease. And so there's a lot of learning to be done here, understanding how we fit in in the greater picture and with the other specialists. We have a really great group of patients here at the VA. The nice thing with the VA is there's a broad spectrum of pathology that we see. Some people it's more advanced and they come in late in the game, they haven't had much medical care. Advanced cataracts or advanced ocular surface tumors. And then some people are the more routine people that are seeing us frequently. And so we see the standard things, but we also see the unusual. And then here at Denver Health, we have a huge uh, population base, so you get to get a lot of diversity, very advanced pathology, um, a lot of diabetic retinopathy and things like that, uncontrolled diseases, a lot of infectious disease of the eye that, you know, a lot of places may not have seen for the last 20 years. It's still alive and well, for better or for worse, uh, at Denver Health. You get the experience of, of taking care of those diseases. Intern year is one of the changes that we've made in the past few years that I think has really enhanced the education in our program. As you may know, we're now what's referred to as a joint program where we have an intern year that happens on this campus versus the previous system where the intern year happened somewhere else. You have five months of true inpatient months. Typically, the, the general setup is that you have one ICU month and then four inpatient just ward months. The ophthalmology electives that the residents get to do as interns include a rotation with the optometry staff to learn how to refract and do contact lenses. There's another month of perioperative surgery where the intern learns the instruments and steps of all ocular surgeries. An additional month on consults where the intern works with the resident doing inpatient consults. We're really able to bring people on board with a higher level of knowledge and a higher level of integration. They're able to attend our conferences, to start research projects earlier. Overall, it's just been an amazing change to our program. The second year of residency, so your PGY2, is your first year in the ophthalmology residency. And that is set up in a set of rotations um, that include subspecialty care and comprehensive care at all four institutions. It's definitely really clinic based, okay? You're learning your examination skills, you're learning about the eye, everything's completely new. The goal is really that the residents learn how to examine the eye and really honing their ability to see a patient and make a care plan. Some of our sites lend themselves more to resident-run clinics where you have your own schedule for the day. This also includes a night float month where the first year resident does night float. And so it's a good overview of basic ophthalmology with some subspecialty care such as cornea glaucoma and pediatric ophthalmology. So second year definitely has, has been my favorite year so far of my two years. When I think about PGY3 year, it's really a transition from first year where you were really just learning some basic skills and just how to examine the eye, how to make a differential to um, some more subspecialty experience and more in-depth surgical exposure as well. In addition, when they're at the VA and Denver Health, they get their first um, introduction to operating, especially with cataract surgery. They start to develop their cataract skills as a second year resident and they will spend much more time doing this as a third year resident. You have a more intensive retina rotation, oculoplastics, pediatrics where you're the primary surgeon on a number of strabismus cases. Really the, the big jump or the transition that you make is doing a lot more procedural stuff. You get very comfortable doing strabismus surgery 
which even if you're not doing strabismus surgery in the future, like in whatever practice you do, um, every ophthalmologist needs to know how to manage an open flow. So being able to take a muscle on and off in the eye and just be comfortable with that, um, it's an important skill to have. And we certainly get good, good surgical numbers and I think everybody feels pretty comfortable doing that. A lot of growth really happens in that year. I think it's when residents often begin to develop subspecialty interests. Um, we often also see, during that year see their research really start to mature as they've had time to develop a research mentor and really develop a project that they can then start uh, bringing to fruition. We spend the majority of our third year, our PGY4 year, um, at either the county hospital or the VA. You've developed all these different skills over the first and second year, and now you're the service chief at each hospital. You're really running your own clinics at most of the hospitals, and you're practicing autonomously in terms of learning how to do more surgery, and specifically a lot of cataract surgery exposure. Personally, I will end up with probably near 275 uh, cataract surgeries, and that is taking into account the uh, almost three months that, that we were out of the operating room during the COVID pandemic. The surgical volume is, is amazing here. We're really lucky to just have amazing surgical mentors throughout your time in residency, um, but particularly our focus on cataract surgery allows our residents to graduate with excellent cataract surgery skills that enable them, if they choose, to go into comprehensive practice right away. Our department has all of the subspecialties pretty much covered. Our program is set up very well for residents who are interested in a particular subspecialty to work with those attendings to really develop their application and their skills in that subspecialty so that they can have extra research projects in a particular subspecialty, get to know that subspecialty very well, and be successful in a fellowship match. Uh, a number of my classmates are preparing to go into uh, fellowships um, and uh, got pretty competitive fellowships and so um, I feel like whether you're going into comprehensive ophthalmology or planning to do a fellowship, um, you can be very well prepared either way.